Does your onboard sound suck? Does it not blow your mind? Is it flat, boring, unimpressive? As tech likes to say, is it garbage? Hi guys, it's Rogue here and welcome to Tech Deals. Today we are looking at sound. So here's a before sound. Just because your sound works, it doesn't mean it's working the way it's supposed to. And here is the after sound. If you can hear the difference, Make sure you write in the comments section below what difference you hear. You tell me which one's better. Like what you hear? This is the difference between generic audio drivers included with Windows and your motherboard specific audio drivers provided by your manufacturer. Now, not all integrated sound is the same, but many motherboards actually have quality sound chips and you're not getting what you pay for if you don't install the correct drivers. Today's video is brought to you by Backblaze, unlimited online backup for your Mac or PC for only $6 a month. Back up your documents, photos, music, movies, unlimited files, unlimited file size, and unlimited speed, and all of your attached external hard drives as well. Restore and access your files anywhere in the world, download for free, or have drives, either USB or external hard drives, FedEx to you. And if you return them within 30 days, you get a refund of the price of the drive. So you have many different restore options. We have personally used Backblaze for more than three years since before we had a YouTube channel. We love this service. We are paying customers ourselves, and we cannot recommend it enough. This right here is what makes the difference. This is what makes Backblaze superior to all the other services up to 30 threads. We legitimately can back up all the videos and content that we make for our YouTube channel very, very quickly. None of the other services do this. Click the link in the video description below. 15 day free trial, no credit card required. See the performance for yourself. Give it a try, be happy with it, and then only subscribe once you see how impressive it really is. I could sit here and show you how to download the drivers for this specific motherboard, but you don't have this motherboard and every motherboard is different. So what you're gonna have to do is find out what motherboard you have and download the drivers for your motherboard that's sitting in your computer. Now, it may be the case that there may be more than one driver to install for your motherboard. So you're gonna have to take a look at that closely. This motherboard here, the Gigabyte Gaming K7, which I have in my computer at home, it actually had three drivers that we had to download to put it in there. And it's got a Creative Sound Blaster driver for the audio chip as well. So keep in mind that there may be more than one driver to install, so be on the lookout for that. This motherboard actually has the Realtek ALC1220 in it, which complicates things just a little bit as far as the driver download, but to be honest with you, it's actually gonna give you better sound and more sound options, so you don't have to add a dedicated sound card like we've got sitting here. The whole point of this video is to make you aware that you have audio drivers to download. Just like you have to download your NVIDIA or your AMD graphics drivers for your graphics card, the same thing with your motherboard is that there will be audio drivers to download so that you can get the most out of the sound on your integrated sound. Now, if you like what you're seeing and hearing in this video, but you discover that your motherboard is out of date, there's no Windows 10 driver, or you have some cheap 7 800 series board, or you did find an updated driver, but your sound still sucks, for $35, if you just install a sound card, that will fix the problem right up. Here we've got a $35 option, or I think it's $39 at the moment, and a $59 option. If your system's four, five, six years old, even older, a dedicated sound card like this, it'll go a long way to improving the sound. If you have a nice quality motherboard, such as this Gigabyte right here, you don't have to spend any money. All you have to do is download the right drivers. If you have a pre-built such as a Lenovo, a HP, a Dell, an Acer, then this solution probably won't work for that. Most of the companies don't put a lot of effort into putting quality sound chips in those computers, so you may need another option. Because what I'm gonna run through here may not work for that. You're probably gonna need a dedicated sound card. But if you have a system from one of the boutique builders such as CyberPower, iBuyPower, or even Origins, then it's possible that what I'm gonna show you is gonna work and you won't have to go to a dedicated sound card. Now you're probably sitting there going, I have no idea what model I make my motherboard is in my computer. Ha, huh. 
we're going to show you how to do that and it's quite easy to do. You can actually find the make and model of your motherboard using a free utility program called CPU-Z. Linked in the video description below will be a link to CPU-Z so that you can go and download it or you can just Google it and it'll just pop straight up. So go and download it and we'll show you how to find your motherboard. Opening up CPU-Z, you can see on the motherboard tab, there is the brand name and the model of your motherboard. Type that into Google, click on the support page, click on Windows 10 64-bit, which you should be on at this point, all of you. And if you're not, well, tech says to fix that. But having said that, go and download your drivers and you'll be able to open up the program. In this motherboard, we actually had three specific drivers to download so that we could access all the features of the sound on this motherboard. I can't give you guidance on your particular motherboard because as I said, all the motherboards are different and the drivers are gonna be specific to your motherboard. This has the Realtek ALC1220. It's a higher end audio solution, generally at 150 or higher and it sounds so much better with the proper drivers installed than the Windows generic ones, which is what you heard at the beginning of the video. Let's go and take a look at the control panel that is specific to this motherboard. This control panel here is what you will see on this Gigabyte board and similar premium boards. So once it's downloaded, you then head over to the program and open it up. And in this particular case, because it's a Gigabyte motherboard, you'll be opening up the Gigabyte Realtek and you'll be plugging in your device and you have these two options here. And currently you are listening to me with them turned off. We're gonna turn them back on and we're gonna see what difference it makes. So this one is noise suppression reduces ambient stationary noises and then this one reduces the acoustic echoes. If you can hear the difference, make sure you write in the comments section below what difference you hear. The other thing that you can do is you can turn the decibels up and down. I'm gonna increase this up by 10 to 30. And this is a test. This is a microphone boost to 30 decibels. And we're gonna turn it down to 10 to see if you can hear the difference. And this is the microphone boost set to 10 decibels. And you can hear the difference. I know that I could hear the difference. If you have a loud voice, you'll wanna turn it down. If you have a soft voice, you'll wanna turn it up. For me, the 20 decibels seems to work quite good. This is the 20 decibels. There we go. Seriously, folks, it is this easy to improve the sound quality of your microphone, no matter if it's a headset or if it is a desk microphone. So here is a before sound. Just because your sound works, it doesn't mean it's working the way it's supposed to. And here is the after sound. If you can hear the difference, make sure you write in the comments section below what difference you hear. If after all of this, your sound hasn't improved, there's not been a dramatic increase in the quality of your sound, then you're probably just going to need to buy a sound card, which is why I've got them here in front of me today. Basic sound cards are far superior to virtually all the integrated audio solutions out there. Superior sound cards start at 59 and then they go up to 99 and 150 and above. I'm not encouraging you to go out and spend 150, 90 or even $59 or even $39. But I tell you what, the $39 will get you a lot of the way there, especially if your sound sucks. Tech put a $55 sound card in his Skylake X and oh my goodness, fixed it up, no more complaints. So it really does make a difference to your sound if you're wanting better sound. If sound is truly important to you, probably just forget the drivers and just go and get a sound card. That'll make life so much easier. But if you don't have the money, then you might as well start with the free, which is download the drivers. Linked in the video description below will be the links for the 39, the 59, the 99, and the 150 and above for you so that you can go check them out and see if any might work for you. After you've done all this setup, there is one more thing you can try if you're still wanting to get that little bit extra out of your sound. Windows has a built-in configuration that will adjust the boost and the level of your audio that you can run. And this works on any audio solution. It is just another way to adjust your volume and your sound that is separate from your motherboard or even your sound card. Now it's time to go and take a look at Windows and specifically where to click, what to click, and let's walk you through this. All right, let's head over and let's take a look. Now the next thing you wanna do is come down here and right click, go to sounds, and you wanna to go to recording, and you wanna make sure that your microphone is checked. You can actually see that it's registering over here on the right. You're gonna go configure, 
The next thing is to select microphone here. If you've got it on a headset, if you've got it on a desktop, wherever you have your microphone select it. click next and it's going to tell you what to do. And we're going to read this right here. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. And you're going to click next. Okay, your microphone is ready to use with this computer finish. At least I've given you some free things that you can try at home to improve the quality of your sound. As far as specific support for this video goes, this isn't it about sound cards except to say that the more you spend, the better quality of sound you're going to get. So keep that in mind. All righty guys, like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you love it, and remember to subscribe using that big red button below, and remember to click that bell icon so that you're notified of the videos that are coming out. And also to please consider clicking the join button as that will directly support the channel so that we can bring more videos to you. Remember the comments go in the comments section below and again check that video description as I'll put the links to all of these there for you to make it easier. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.